This is the video walkthrough for 1288 North Mahogany Gulch Lane, in front of the house. This is looking to the west. This is looking to the south. That's looking to the east. You can see Mount Wright's in there in the distance. I've got this extended parking area. Nice landscaping. Big saguaro in the front yard. So this looks like the air conditioning condensate drip line, and that's just some calcium buildup. It could be pressure washed away. This is your front courtyard. Got plantation shutters there. This is some stucco cracking, which is pretty common. It just needs to be restuccoed and painted. It's a nice open floor plan, just like the pictures show. Nice tall ceilings. Plantation shutters all throughout. It's a nice landscape back porch. We'll go out there in a minute. And here's the extra white cabinets. I mean, these definitely could be refaced or even painted. These are wood cabinets, so painting would be an option. I mean, if you did like a light gray or something like that, I think it would really accent the colors in this kitchen. Or, you know, whatever color you're thinking. I mean, all the cabinets look to be in really good shape. I don't see nicks or dings. Maybe a different color and some new cabinet poles would make a world of difference in here. There's the washer and dryer that come with the house. They are both Kenmore Elite units. They look to be in good shape. Cabinets in here are in good shape also. Going out into the garage. So there's the golf cart that comes with it. There's your water heater. This is the make and model. Your train air handler. It also has a Kenmore water softener. I'm assuming they're also leaving this uh, freezer too, since they have not taken it with them. So in regards to your question about the cabinets on either side, um, you could still easily get two cars in here, um, but you'd want to park them a certain way so that you can open your doors so they left that space over there by the golf cart. 
so that you can still swing your doors open like if you're going to back the cars in. Golf cart looks to be in pretty good shape. The club car. Tires on it are good. Front and rear. A lot of storage in here. These are all in good shape too. This garage door also has the uh, insulation panels. So you can see plenty of room for two cars. Or you could just keep the golf cart in here and do uh, one car. Going back inside, and the garage door opener operates smoothly. It's a Bosch dishwasher in the kitchen. The refrigerator is a Whirlpool. Nice unit. We got pull outs here. This is a nice tile. It looks well kept, clean. A lot of times when you have light colored grout, you see the stains and dirt. But that's not the case here. They must have had it uh, regularly cleaned or cleaned it themselves. So here's the den in between the two bedrooms. And this could easily be made into a third bedroom if you ever wanted to do that by enclosing the sheetrock here. We did it in one of our old houses and it cost us about $2,000 just to put a door there and frame in the sheetrock. And they've already got the cutout there for a closet space. So this floor plan gives you that, that option, you know, flexibility. Nice tall ceilings in here, makes it feel like a much larger room. You've got some hallway storage here. This is the guest bathroom. Everything in here is really clean and good condition. Even the shower head is not like calcified. That water softener helps a lot with that. Vanity. Storage underneath. The guest bedroom. With a view out to the courtyard. This carpet is very clean in here. Standard size closet. I'm going to the master. Again, the carpet is very clean here. It looks like they might have even replaced it. It looks like it's never been used. Got a sliding glass door. Going out to the back patio. 
And you've got a nice mountain view there in the distance. In the winter, you'll be able to see the snow-capped peaks from your master. So a large room, two windows, ceiling fan, tall ceilings. There's a really large walk-in closet. Where's the light? There we go. Plenty of storage in here. It's the master bathroom. Got two sinks. Good storage underneath. Got medicine cabinets on either side. There's the shower. Again, everything in here is in really good condition. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Toilet area, it's a little bit of storage. Now we'll go out to the backyard. Oh, and I did miss this. This is the foyer coat closet. It's a little larger than most. So this backyard is really nicely manicured. Nothing appears out of place. Everything looks really well kept and clean. They do have this water feature off, but I'm sure this is very pleasant to sit out back and listen to the running water like a little river in your backyard. And so there is no wall here, but you could start your wall, you know, approximately where that bush there is in the distance and run it pretty much along the line of where these river rocks are up to the block wall because you can see that's what the neighbors over here have done they just made a little stucco wall and that's probably about a three foot wall so it doesn't interfere with uh, you know your other neighbors view you see the neighbor in the distance there looks like he did about a four foot wall You wouldn't want to go higher than five feet, I would think, to keep, you know, the neighbors happy. You'd want to be in the three or four foot range if you're going to do a wall over here. Side of the house. And so they've just done a wall along the property line pretty much. I'm not positive, but I think this is a lime tree. But I'm also not a uh, an arborist, so. Some nice landscaping. And you're backed up to the tennis courts over there. And the walking trail. Normally with the tile roofs, you can see a few cracked tiles here and there, but there's none that stand out to me right now. Of course, we wouldn't have a roof inspector verify all that, but I don't see anything broken or slipped. Around the side of the house here, 
You have the HVAC unit. It's a train, which is a good quality unit. And this is the make and model. Looks to be in good condition. And that's it.